Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome to Show Me Mo Vegan. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about our health on a vegan diet. I've been vegan now for a little over a year, and I recently went to the doctor, so we did some blood work to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything. There's a common misconception that people on a vegan diet are missing out on key nutrients like protein, calcium, and iron. Most experts agree that as long as you're eating a varied diet that includes whole grains, beans, vegetables, fruits, and nuts and seeds, as well as a B12 supplement, you're going to be getting a well-rounded and balanced diet. I'm not a doctor or a dietitian, but I follow experts in the plant-based field and I eat a varied diet, so I'm not too concerned about nutrients, but I did go ahead and check and I'm gonna share my results with you. So am I withering away from protein deficiency? Let's take a look. The first thing I wanna talk about is cholesterol. Before switching to a whole food vegan diet, I had high cholesterol. The recommended amount is to be less than 200. Every time that I checked my cholesterol, it was always above 200 and usually somewhere around 215 to 220. So let's take a look at what my numbers look like now. After eating a whole food vegan diet for over a year now, my cholesterol is down to 131. So that is fantastic. And as you can see, the rest of my cholesterol numbers are in the normal or recommended ranges, except for my HDL cholesterol. So this is the one that's commonly referred to as your good cholesterol, and it's the one that people generally say to try to get it higher. So mine is actually below what they recommend. Um, according to this chart, it says it should be over 50 and mine is 41. I personally am not too concerned about this, just based on the plant-based doctors that I follow who seem to indicate that your overall cholesterol numbers should be low, and oftentimes in America and other Western countries, these reference ranges are based on a population that is not really that healthy. And of course, I'm not a doctor, so when looking at your own test results, consult with your doctor, and if there is any number that you're concerned about, be sure to work with your doctor or a dietitian on that. Next up, my A1C is 4.9, and it should be, according to this, below 5.7. Once you start to get above 5.7, that's where you get into the pre-diabetes and diabetes ranges. So here we have several different markers that are related to nutrition, and you can see that mine are all in the normal range. I'll point out just a few here. My glucose is in a normal range. A lot of people worry about calcium on a whole food diet, but you can see my calcium level is normal. And of course, protein. The biggest question most people ask vegans is, where do you get your protein? And they worry that you're not gonna get enough. But as you can see here, my protein is normal as well. And then here we have different blood counts and all of those are normal. The last time I checked some of these numbers before I was vegan, some of them were a little elevated. That was when I was suffering with ulcerative colitis symptoms. And I believe that some of those elevations were due to that. And so as you can see now, everything is back into the normal range once I went on my vegan diet. And then the last thing I have here is just my ferritin level. That's often checked for things like anemia. Anemia is another thing that people worry that you might get when you're vegan, but as you can see, mine is normal. And then I had B12 and D checked because these are the most common nutrients that people on a vegan diet are usually supplementing or are concerned about. I do supplement with B12 and vitamin D, so I didn't expect to have any problem here, but we still checked it just to be sure that my supplementation was at an adequate level. And often people think that because vegans supplement with B12 and D that it's an unnatural diet, but the problem is our world has become a little unnatural. 
So we're not spending as much time out in the sunlight, therefore we're not getting all of our vitamin D. So the vitamin D that most people do get often comes from things like milk, but that milk is fortified with the vitamin D. So it's sort of like getting it from a supplement anyway. And with the B12, it's sort of the same story. B12 doesn't come from plants or animals, it actually comes from bacteria. So the theory is we used to get adequate B12 levels from our drinking water and just from the bacteria that was on the produce that we were eating. And of course, our modern world is so sanitized that we don't get it from these places anymore. Our water is treated, which is a great thing because we also don't get bad bacteria in our water anymore. Most people eating a standard American diet technically are also getting their B12 from a supplement because a lot of the animal products that have B12 only have it because the animals were supplemented with B12. So in my opinion, whether you're eating a plant-based diet or an omnivorous diet, these two nutrients are likely coming from a supplement in the first place. I'm just taking the supplement directly instead of filtering it through an animal. All in all, my blood tests appear to be normal. And while I am only one person, these are my individual results and I'm just one case study sharing my story. It appears that after a year of eating this way, my vegan diet is perfectly healthy. But don't just take my word for it. According to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, appropriately planned vegetarian and vegan diets are healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may provide health benefits for the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. They go on to say that these diets are appropriate for all stages of life and may put you at reduced risk of certain health conditions. As a bonus, these diets are also more environmentally sustainable. And as I mentioned before, the only nutrient of concern that they mention is B12, which should be consumed either via a supplement or fortified foods. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Most people consuming a plant-based diet tend to be very healthy, especially if they're eating a whole food diet. But if you are ever concerned that you might be deficient in a certain nutrient, always check with your doctor or a dietitian. You can always get tests to make sure you're not missing out on anything. And if you are, you might be able to supplement to help, but definitely make those decisions with your doctor. If you got something out of this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And iron among us. Um, blah, 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 blah. All right.